As it's Thursday, we're going to be answering Vipers questions. I'm going to give you a very quick run through of the questions I've written and how you might go about answering them. So, question one and two are vocab questions where you will have to find these in the text. So, find and copy the word closest meaning to nightfall. So, it says look in the first paragraph. So, do that. Find the word that is closest in meaning to nightfall and copy it on that line. Question two, you need to find the phrase closest in meaning to move slightly out of the gloom somewhere on the second page. You'll need more than one word if it's a phrase. Question three is a retrieval question, but you have to find all of these things in the text and decide whether they're true or false. So for example, on the first one, the boy thought his worries were strange. You'll look for the keyword worries or worried and then decide whether this statement here is true or false once you've found it in the text. You'll need to find all four of these statements. Question four is one of those inference questions where you have to find some evidence to back up a statement. So for example, in the first statement, the boy did not want to be seen. You will need to find some evidence in the text that shows he didn't want to be seen. So don't just put that he was hidden in a bush you'll need to find some evidence that shows that he was trying to avoid people seeing him. And then you copy it into this box here. On the next question, question five is an explanation question. So you need to explain why boy went home. Use a text in your answer. So if you find the keywords going home, um, you will find some evidence in there that you'll better use to explain why he went home. Question six is a prediction question. Using the things you've learned from this chapter, predict what the town of Perfect might be like. So we've got people watching you, we've got being caught outside the walls, we've got mysterious figures like George and Edward Archer. So using them, you can make a prediction of what you think this town is like. Is it a friendly place? Probably not, from what you've read. So, find some evidence and back it up. Finally, it's one of my favourites, the order in which things happen in a text. It's a summary type of question. The first one's done for you. You've got boy hiding in a bush, and then you have to find the other things in the text to work out what order they come in and number them. My tip is always find every event that you see here, from a car arriving at the house, boy hiding in the bushes, even that one boy laughing, a girl running into the house, the Archer twins arriving at the house, find them all in the text, put a star next to them, number them afterwards, and Bob's your mother's brother, you will have the order in which they all happen. Good luck with those, I'll see you soon.